Hi, this is Katie Tunstall, you're watching Mariners TV. Okay, so Dan, welcome on board. How pleased are you to be part of Southfields again? No, I am buzzing. Can't wait to get started. It's just like, the games are coming quick and fast now for the pre-season game, so hopefully I can get some minutes in my legs and show what I can do on the pitch. You've been with the club quite, for quite a lot of pre-season as well. How have you found it so far? Uh, I have loved it, yeah. The training's been excellent and you can see what they're, they're trying to get out of the players and stuff like showing showing the lads the new shape and stuff. It's been good, I think. Obviously, you've had a few opportunities in pre-season and a few other sort of options as well. What, what's made you sign for South Shields? Yeah, no, I'd like just the way that the coaches want me to play and stuff, it's like really just caught my eye, so kind of way to get started. In time that you had at the club last year as well, about six games you've played, did yeah. that sort of whet the appetite for the club as well? No, I know. I got to know the lads really well, so that's it was one of the main reasons why I wanted to come as well. So. Can say for your style of play as well, it must suit you down at the ground the way that they try to keep the ball on the floor. Yeah, I definitely like being over places when they're just banging it long, it's not really my style, so hopefully the way that we're playing here it suits me. So. Obviously you left Sunderland at the end of last season, that must be a, a difficult time for you with the company, your hometown club as well, that must be a, a good way to pick yourself up again. No, I definitely I just didn't get much game time at Sunderland the last few years, so hopefully I can get more here and show what I can do. Obviously the club's moving forward as, as far as possibly, possibly can, I'm sure you're an ambitious player as well, so you hoping to go through that sort of journey with the club now as well? Yeah, definitely, even like the way that the fans are going on as well, like they're getting numbers every week and it's just good to be around really. Okay, so you've got Dan Wright on board now, how pleased are you to get that sign over the line? We're absolutely delighted, yeah. Um, it's kind of been a little bit longer than we'd, we'd hoped for. Um, obviously kept it quiet. Um, obviously being a fan of Dan since we've seen him in the 23s last year. Um, came into the club for a short period last season. Got himself injured. Um, and then we didn't really see him until pre-season again. Um, he's been away on trial. Unfortunately for him, didn't didn't quite work out. But um, that's opened the door here at South Shields for him and, and we're delighted to have him. Obviously, you started the game against Blythe on Saturday as well and did very well. Did that play any influence on your decision? Or you always looked no, we were, we, yeah, we were, as soon as we, know, we knew that Dan was available, we wanted to, to kind of try and get it over the line as soon as possible. Um, obviously, his performance on Saturday just reiterated what we already knew about him. Um, I thought he was really tired, he did some great stuff. Admitted himself, he, he kind of ran out of steam second half. Um, so, as, as all the players this stage of the season, he probably needs to do a little bit more fitness work um, but with his attitude he'll, he'll get as fit as we need him to be um, and we just feel like Dan's got that that ideal skill set in that position that he was playing um, 8 and 10 behind the, behind the 9 to be able to not only create goals but score goals for us as well it's a fifth senior signing of the summer, not the first one that's from South Shields as well. Has that played any influence in the decision to bring that, these players on the no, no, probably a little bit coincidental. I mean, we're delighted. Delighted always to bring local lads back to the football club. Um, obviously with Chrissy and um, uh, Phil um, and now um, Dan, South Shields lads. And obviously we're delighted to, to get them uh, to get them back into the club. And, you know, it just gives them that, that real enthusiasm to get going straight away to play in front of their the kind of neighbours and family members and things like that, so yeah, we're delighted. Just finding on Danny, still quite a young player as well. Do you see him as one of those players that can sort of grow with the club over the next few years? Certainly, yeah, we've got um, we've got a few of those players. Um, we spoke to Dan about obviously the ambitions of the club going forwards. Um, he's fully on board with that, you know. Um, he wants to progress. He wants to to try and do as well as possible for for this football club um, over the next two to three years, and then let's see where it takes us. So you're obviously playing the game against Blythe on Saturday, how do you find that? No, it was a good test for us, especially if, since they're a league above and we got a good game out of it, especially in the first half, I thought we did really well, so apart from after the first 20 minutes was it 2-0 up, I thought we could have managed the game better, just seeing the game through, get got uh, the clean sheet at half time, but apart from that, like the chances were created and everything, it was really good. And Lee Green, we've obviously done a lot of work on the training pitch in pre-season as well. Do you think that's starting to show on the pitch as well? Yeah, definitely. All the lads are sinking into it and stuff, so it's just coming together nicely, really. Obviously, pre-season's only sort of halfway through at the minute. We've got the tournament coming up on, on Saturday and Sunday. How much are you looking forward to that one? Uh, I wasn't, especially the Marseille and Celtic. Like, they'll, be, they'll be good and it's different. Like The way that they'll play will be different to what we play and stuff like that, so it'll be a good test. You'll come up against teams like that in the past with the Sunderland's Academy team as well. Yeah, definitely. What sort of test are you expecting against them? Well, mostly they'll probably be like athletes, so they getting around the pitch well and they'll move the ball quickly, so it'll be a good test for them. So when you, when you came to the club last year, the spell was sort of cut short by an injury, is that all sort of cleared now? And you, yeah, definitely. I can, I'm fine now and cannot wait to get started again. 
Um, I hope to start as many games as I can, get no injury, injuries this time around and hopefully I can get a few goals as well.